This video is about intermittent renewable challenging the frequency stability of the power system. The power system stability consists of three topics, voltage stability, frequency stability and angular stability. On YouTube you can already find a couple of related videos which explain a little bit better the background of the power system stability. The power system frequency is the controlled variable for establishing the balance between generation and load. The share of uh, renewable power plants in the electric power system is rapidly increasing. Uh, contrary to conventional and controllable power generation, the renewable power supply is intermittent, so less controlled. In Germany, for example, renewable power reaches up to 40% or even more, and thus the impact on the grid is uh, highly significant. In the past, only the load was variable and the demand side had to be met by a controllable set of generation plants. But today also the generation side of the equation is more and more variable and less well controllable. The wind does not always blows when needed and uh, also the sun is not always shining when the power is needed. Therefore a key new technology uh, is urgently needed in order to build a bridge between the supply and uh, the demand. And this bridge is the storage. So we will see in the future more, more huge storage plants, for example, hydro storage, but also battery storage up to storage, which will be installed in uh, cars so that also the power supply can be well enough controlled in order to meet the demand, the fluctuating demand. In the attached example, there is now a circuit with a load and uh, three different sources. One source is a conventional, for example, a diesel set, which should be used as little as possible. Then you have a renewable source, for example, a windmill, which is uh, intermittent, and then you have a storage. By the way, in order to change uh, the different type of sources, you go there and you can choose if it's a generator, if it's a renewable, or maybe if it is, uh, it is a storage. Here, for example, there is a storage where the renewable is uh, unchecked and then you get the opportunity to check the storage. So let's run this example. So you go to this green arrow, you click and uh, then you just have one run. Then you put uh, the diesel genset to more or less maximum power. It's a small power diesel. Then you can run it infinitely. You push this button here and then you can just adjust the intermittency of the renewable source by means of adapting the power output of the storage. You can then just make sure that the frequency stays around 50 Hertz and you see depending on the intermittency of the renewable source how tricky it will be even though the droop is now switched on. So you can see what happens. So this is something which is very close to reality. You can see now you have to push more out of the storage and then if the renewable goes up you have to reduce the storage again. That's the way how you can keep the frequency more or less stable even though you have an intermittent renewable. So this is just to explain and to demonstrate the value of a storage in a future grid world where there will be much more in intermittent power. By the way Due to the fact that this is a single phase system, there is some oscillation when the intermittency of the renewable power comes into play. This oscillation would disappear in a three phase system. As usual, you can go to my homepage where you can play around with the model. The model can be downloaded there. It's very easy.